we had a roster full of people that were over. Yeah, that's the good you know. Point. So yeah. we 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 didn't need that as a crutch. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Writing with Russo. Ladies and gentlemen, with the man with the hatchet and the helium arm. Ladies and gentlemen, beware because he's got biceps of steel. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Vince Russo. How are you? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's going, going on? on man? What's going on, Dr. Dr. Man, just another day in the office, man. Uh, Having fun with the events, man. Yes. Always, always a pleasure uh, working with you, man. Yes, uh, you too, you over, my friend. Put you over all the time, man. It's uh, such a blast. Such a blast, yes, man. Yes, it is. Let's talk about uh, X-Pac's potential return to the WWE. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You had a lot to do with the booking of X-Pac in the late 90s uh, with his DX run and, and other things. And so, you know, he has a uh, he has a been a full-time wrestler in a long time. And uh, he's not coming back full-time, but he has, a, he has an itch to come back. It's been a while since he's really competed in the match. And uh, he's hasn't been he hasn't competed in WWE for a long, long time uh, as an active talent. And there's some rumors of him potentially being an entrant in the Royal Rumble, a surprise entrance. You know, a lot a lot of times within the Royal Rumble, it's become more of like who's the surprise more than even who's going to win it a lot of times. And like when people look at the 30, they're looking at the entrance and seeing if the other person's you know who's going to be a surprise kind of like an organic type of thing that's came within you know this the evolution of the royal rumble mm -hmm. now before i ask about xbox i do want to touch on that for a second the surprise entrant factor that a lot of people enjoy with the royal rumble that's become an, that, that's became an organic thing like was that a thing during your time in the wwe 25 years ago was vince like trying to elicit some type of fan reaction by having these surprise slots or was it just not, 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 not really bro and you know from what i can remember if it was it was like one person you, gotcha. you, you know what i mean you know uh, you know bro keep in mind man we had a roster full of people that were over yeah that's the good you know so we, we we didn't need that as a crutch yeah that's true oh so, yeah that's if it was one or two people you know that was it yeah yeah that's a, that's a good point I, I think that it is a <laughs> that is a really big factor nowadays it's like yeah. people are looking for that nostalgia pop you know what i mean yeah. and like now like they weren't looking for a nostalgia pop you know back in 1997 no, because it was so red hot during that time yeah it was the bro the hot thing during that time was the order true that from, was the hot thing. Yeah, the order, what, yeah. what number they were coming out? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, who was going to come out as thirty? Who's going to come yeah, out as one? Yeah. Type of deal. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's became a thing because, and it's really a, indicative of, you know, the the current wrestling you know scope that you know the, the biggest pop is going to be someone who's not on the active roster that pretty go that pretty much shows you how much they're not building stars right now that's the current terrible. roster unfortunately that's terrible yeah.